On this Wednesday night in Lviv, Anya and her 11 foster children are finally able to laugh again. After escaping Berdansk, a city west of devastated Mariupol, Berdansk was seized by Russian forces just four days into the war, and the family was forced to stay in a bunker below their house for 42 days. It was hard to um, live there and it was dangerous, but every day when we woke up we were very thankful to God that we are still alive and we are still able to worship Him. Anya says whenever they needed anything or were afraid, they would pray. We were reading the Bible, we were worshiping, we were fasting, and that's why we had this peace with God. The foster children, who were mostly teenagers and who had never been through war, said they weren't afraid. I didn't work, I was in peace and I was in the safe place and I know that everything will be fine, God with us and He will gonna protect us. We were afraid to God and I, I felt this peace in my heart and we uh, all became so united and uh, as a one family and that's why I didn't feel that fear. Thanks to some brave drivers from Orphan's Promise, Anya and her children were able to escape to Lviv, where OP turned some offices into shelters. We help to support people who, who are still, in, still be in other centers, to give them food, medicine, to give them psychology support. And the most important part of our job is just gospel, the to, gospel. to share good the news. news. Because all people are open to accept Jesus. The family is now awaiting visas to go to Switzerland, where they plan to wait out the war. I'm excited, but I'm also a little bit like sad about it. I need to leave my own country, my family, my city. About the war, I'm not happy, but the, the possibility that I can go um, to different countries, I'm happy because I, it, it was my dream. Switzerland, here we come. <laughs> Wendy Griffith, CBN <laughs> News, Lviv, okay. Ukraine.